This is a familiar place. Reliable, customizable. It's a platform with security standards that are unmatched. This is Kraken Pro. Today, I wanna to talk about an exchange that has been around since 2011. Most exchanges come and go, but Kraken remains strong. Whether you are already signed up to Kraken, wanna learn more about Kraken Pro, or you're just looking at your options, this is a video that you need to watch. And before we get started, I just wanna make sure it is clear and understood that this video is not financial advice and I am not a financial advisor. And also this video is sponsored by Kraken Pro. You can navigate your way through the timeline below. There are labels if you wanna to jump to a specific subject. If you wanna get a full tutorial and a full breakdown of Kraken Pro, then just sit back and relax and let's get started. After clicking the link that is displayed in the description or comment section of this video, you're gonna land on a page that looks like this. Navigating to the top right of the page, there are two options, sign in or sign up. If you have a Kraken account, go ahead and sign in using your Kraken info. If you don't have an account, go ahead and sign up. Kraken is regulatory compliant, meaning that you'll have to go through standard KYC. Once you are logged in, your screen is going to look something like this. On the right side, this larger tab is showing the Bitcoin chart. On the left side of the screen, you will see this box. It says order form. And this order form is where you're going to execute your trades. If you look at where it says order form, to the right of that, it says alerts. This is a stacked widget. If I click on that, you can see it opens up another tab where I have some alerts for Ethereum and Bitcoin. And just above the order form here, you can see this giant Bitcoin button. If you click on that, what you get is the full list of assets that you can trade on Kraken Pro. And as you can see, there are a lot of cryptocurrencies that you can trade. What these gold stars do on the right is they let you favorite them. So if you click on the star here, you can add or remove coins or coin pairs against you know euros us dollar or whatever you're trading and that way if you go over here to the top left it says favorites click that and now all of your favorites are in a neat orderly row now if i go back to where it says spot margin now we're back on this list but something that's really cool is that you can search cryptos by sector if you're wondering what's going on with DeFi tokens you can click DeFi and then sort by biggest change over 24 hours or volume to the right, you can see there are plenty of other sectors to look at. We can look at crypto gaming, and we can see, well, not all too much going on here. Let's take a look at layer ones. Oh, we see a lot more layer ones are in the green today. This sector is hotter. So you can see how useful this can be when you wanna see what areas of crypto are making moves. So let's exit out of this list here, and we can take a look at the rest of the screen. One thing that you'll notice is that there are stacked widgets, such as the order form and alerts. Now you have order book and market trades. Under this market trades tab, you can see that there are orders coming through. Market trades is showing you all of the orders that are happening right now. Who's buying, who's selling, how much is being bought, how much is being sold and when and at what price. To the left, order book. These are all the pending orders in the market. The bottom here are the pending buy orders or the bids. These orders are waiting to be filled. They're waiting for sellers to fill their orders as buyers. On the top, you have the ask side, the sell side. These are sellers, pending orders, waiting for buyers to fill their orders. You can also go over here to these three dots. You'll notice these three dots are sitting on all the tabs. And these three dots allow you to add widgets, to stack another widget. There is now a list to choose from. I can choose depth chart. And the depth chart, this gives us a nice visual of the order book. So you can see right here, we have these three stacked widgets and I want the depth chart to be next to the order book. I'm gonna click depth chart and pull it away until that gray box is positioned where I want it to be and then let go of the mouse and there you go. So yeah, guys, this is fully customizable, right? You can do just about anything that you want. You can order it however you want, position it, 
rearrange it. Kraken Pro gives you control over your layout. This is the Bitcoin chart. I could add a market. I could add whatever chart I want. I could click on, let's say, Chainlink. And now Chainlink chart comes up and I can select between these three assets, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Chainlink, and I can just keep adding more and more and I can access all the data for all these assets with speed. The layout of this chart on the top are your timelines your timeframes, and then you have indicators, candle types. And I'm gonna go down here to where it says show all drawings. I had them hidden. I'm gonna unhide them. And you can see that I was doing a little bit of mapping of support and resistance on the chart for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is looking pretty nice if I do say so myself. Now I can drag down this area here because what I wanna do now is look at some indicators. Pull up the MACD, check out what kind of momentum we are seeing here for Bitcoin and maybe I'll pull up the RSI for Bitcoin. As you can see, you can easily access all of your needed charting tools just like that. So if you've been playing around with the interface here and you feel like you've gotten your layout to a point that just seems messy, like you might've messed up somewhere along the way of rearranging all of your modules, there's a very easy fix. Go to the right, click layouts and widgets, go down to reset to advanced and boom, now you have a nice clean default layout. Now I wanna discuss the trading portion, probably the portion that you came here for. I wanna talk about how to get funds on the exchange and how to execute trades using this order form. One of the coolest things about Kraken Pro is that you really don't have to leave this page in order to get everything you want done. Navigate to the top right of your screen where it says deposit click on that and what you'll see is that first of all you can deposit one of many cryptocurrencies directly into Kraken Pro and there is another option if you don't have any crypto to deposit and all you want to do is deposit US dollars or euros whatever you're trading in click on the currency you're interested in I'm going to click on US dollars and from there a pop-up window will appear and what you'll see is that you have the option to instantly deposit funds into Kraken Pro directly. On a lot of exchanges, you'll have to go to other pages and spend time navigating through a bunch of different layers of the website, but Kraken Pro is making it very user-friendly. And it's very simple. If I go to Played US and I click, you can either wire transfer directly into Kraken's bank and it'll show up in your account, or you can fund your account directly. I'm gonna go ahead and just click Fund Directly. If that is the route you wanna take, then just go to continue. Click continue, hit connect account, and then you'll be taken to a page where you can connect to your bank account directly. You don't have to put your phone number in, maybe later, and then go click whatever bank that you are using or type in your bank's name in the search bar. And for this demonstration, I'm going to put in 100 US dollars, click review, and now you can see right after I did that, instantly the funds showed up right in my account. So you can see you don't have to leave Kraken Pro to get funds in or out. You can do literally everything you need to do right here. So at this point, you could have deposited a cryptocurrency into Kraken Pro or a fiat currency as we have done here. Now we are ready to trade. Looking at this order form here, you can see that there are a couple modules. We have spot and margin. If you are in the United States, you will not be able to use margin unless you are certified to do so. And to the right, you can pick an order type. A limit order will put you in the market at a specific price. A market order will buy the currency at whatever price it's currently at or whatever is available within the order book. Stop loss orders are a strategic order type that you can place to manage your risk and then also take profit, similar to stop loss, but in the opposite direction to take your profit. And then you have stop loss limit, take profit limit, and these are slightly more advanced order types. And if you're very sophisticated, you can use their new iceberg order type, and this will allow you to sort of hide yourself to stop yourself from being spotted by other players who may be trying to take advantage of your position. And we're on the Bitcoin chart. Let me just zoom into the hourly chart for Bitcoin. And so you can see that Bitcoin has had an impulse up and is now seeing sideways consolidation. If you are under the impression that Bitcoin may see further upside, you may wanna put in a limit order along support 
in order to get the best possible entry for a potential continuation to the upside. And there are of course thousands of ways to trade, all different kinds of methods. And so if I wanted to take an entry on Bitcoin upon a retest of support, have my limit order execute, before a possible rally. With that number in mind, 33,585, I could go over here, select limit, then type in 33,585. After you've typed that in, if you're not sure if you have the right price set and you wanna just double check that you're about to put in the right order, you can go over here. They have a really handy tool on Kraken Pro sitting at this previews tab. If I click previews and I go to order form preview click that you'll see that what just popped up was the limit order that i am attempting to place that i have not placed yet this is showing me a preview of where it would be right so let's just uncheck that again i'm going to remove this horizontal line that i placed so now you can see the chart is empty let's go back check 33,585 limit order, order form preview, check it off, and there you go, it comes right up, and that is exactly where I want it. So at this point, I could just place the order after selecting the quantity or US dollar amount. 33,587.7 seems good to me, and let's just do 25 US dollars, place this order, and now you can see at the bottom of the screen, under the open orders tab, this widget, you can see that Bitcoin to US dollar buy limits at 33,587.7 for a quantity of $25 worth of Bitcoin. Your position, right? So if I wanna preview this order that's now in the market, I would go to open and trigger orders, toggle that on, and now you can see it is showing this order as the preview that it is live and this order is ready to go if the price does in fact come back to that price level and if you're second guessing your trade idea which you should probably be sure of what you're doing before you enter the trade but if there's something comes up and you need to change this order you can go to the right here and either just select cancel or this pencil symbol and then edit the order as you may please. Or you can even just drag this rectangle. Let's say I think it's too close to the current price action. Maybe I wanna get in actually near the end of the support line. I could go ahead and confirm that. And now this order has switched and the order is now sitting at the lowest point of support. And so that's the nice thing about Kraken Pro is that you have several vectors to alter your orders if need be. And also if I didn't wanna place a limit order, let's say I'm very confident in the long-term Bitcoin scenario. And I just think Bitcoin's probably gonna go up over time. And I just wanna have Bitcoin right now. I just wanna buy the Bitcoin and then send it off to my ledger and keep it for cold storage. What you can do is just hop over here to the order form, drop down to market order. And the market order, wherever you set that, you select your quantity and if you hit buy, it's going to immediately execute a buy order at the next available price within the order book. So you would be buying into these sell orders if you used a market buy order. Instantly, you would obtain Bitcoin at the next available price. And so for this demonstration, I'm gonna cancel this limit order and I'm just going to market buy $25 worth of Bitcoin out of our 100 total, 25%. And market order, I'm just gonna get some Bitcoin right now, buy. And there you go, order is submitted. And if you go over here to balances, let's drag this up so we can see what's in here. The contents of the portfolio or the balance, we have US dollar, we have Bitcoin. And if I'm a Bitcoin hodler and I just wanna stack my Bitcoin in privacy, I can just go up, click this US dollar portfolio tab, hit withdraw, and then I can click Bitcoin and then select the network. And so what I can do now is look for other opportunities, go to my favorites tab and look to see what's happening. I could look for maybe an asset that is oversold or one that has momentum. Chainlink, currently the highest gainer in the past 24 hours in my favorites tab. Let's click on that and see what's going on. Look at the four hour chart. Interesting, Chainlink is still in an uptrend. Chainlink is trending right now. And we can see, looking at these indicators, the four hour MACD is showing some positive momentum. 
But what you'll notice is that the RSI has broken out above that downtrend line. So we have a couple coinciding variables. And I think that at this point, I'd like to have exposure to Chainlink, but if the price comes down too far below this short-term trend, I'd like to stop out. That way I can manage risk and minimize my loss. And now we are left with 75 US dollars. I'll go ahead and buy another $25 worth of Chainlink. We have $25 worth of Bitcoin. I'll grab $25 worth of Chainlink. And I'm just going to execute this market long. You can see that this has executed inside of balances. We have some chain link now. And I want to get rid of this entire block here. It's kind of in the way. So I can just click this rectangle and move the whole thing over here. That way I can just work with this chart nice and neat while the balances are now here. If Chainlink is unable to hold this trend line, it's probably best to get out. My idea is wrong if we can't hold this up trend line. So if the price of Chainlink were to come down below this trend line, and if we got below that last major low, well, that shows weakness to me we would end up probably breaking into a further lower low. And I wanna get out of the entire position at that level and that is 2.224 chain link. You can see 2.224 looks right to me. That'll be 100% exit. And if we go to previews, order form preview, you can see the preview of this order before I've entered it is showing up here, preview. Maybe this isn't exactly right. Maybe it could be a little bit tighter on that wick low. We go with 1064. So now it's showing up here. It automatically changed it because I dragged the order form preview. 1064, hit sell. Now go to previews, turn off order form, and go to open trigger orders. And you can see stop loss right here is now set. You can see that the open orders toggle is showing you live open orders. So we can see that is open. Stop loss for chain link, 100% exit if we break below that trend line. Now, if I wanted to take profit, I could go to the order form, change the stop loss to take profit and hit sell and do 100%. I want to take 100% profit at 12.63 right there. Just to be sure, preview, order form preview. Yep, that's exactly where I want it. Now let's go to the execute button. Now change preview, turn off order form, go to open orders. You can see the take profit order is now set and ready to take profit if we do reach the upper side of this channel formation. Now I'm back on Bitcoin on the daily. So I just wanted to show you guys the basics of using the order form, using those previews to make sure your orders are correct and monitoring the positions and the balances below and also the ability to adjust those orders just by dragging them up and down. That is gonna be it for this tutorial, at least for now. If you guys have questions, recommendations on what I should cover next, be sure to comment below. Hit the like button. And also, if you haven't already, click that link below in this video and sign up for Kraken Pro. And be sure to follow Kraken Pro on Twitter. That way you're up to date on any new updates or changes. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. First Bitcoin ETF could get approved and soon. Bitcoin coming off of its best day in quite a while on hopes that the